friends. Today is my biopsy day. I've been nervous about it since last night. Not nervous until then, but now I am. In case you are new to this video, and I hope that it gets a little bit of attention to talk about it in general, because I have never talked to anyone about any of these issues or heard anyone else talking about it. So I would love to have a conversation and be more open about it. And anyway, so a few months ago, it was brought to my attention that I had nodes on my thyroid and that I should have them go looked at. I did, I went to my doctor, we went and got an ultrasound, and yes, in fact, I do have four to five nodes, one of them being the most questionable, two of them being the most questionable. So they decided to have them biopsied, and yes, that means we are checking for cancer. The good news is that even if they do come back positive for that, then um, I think there's two options, if I'm understanding it right. I would probably go for the removal option myself, um, but we will discuss that with my doctor and if we get results. So if not, then they they won't do anything. They can't, you can't like shrink them or anything like that. And they're very slow growing, which is why I probably haven't noticed anything for so long. They grow really, really, really slow. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to film much during the biopsy, I will take the camera with me and do as much as I can. I really highly doubt they're gonna let me film any of it, but I will be back with you to talk to you about the process. And they said, they, I already know that they have to biopsy each node at least five times. And they're going to biopsy at least all four or five of them. I'm kind of hoping they only do two, but I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do all of them. So that means five pricks the needle for every single node so they are going to use local anesthetic to numb the entire neck area right over here it's where they are and use ultrasound to guide and get the biopsies from so I do know that and I do know this imaging department I've been there plenty of times now so the rest of it is new to me and I at least want to have a conversation with others that have a need for getting information before they may be need to get it. I've talked to friends and family and they're like, ooh, should I go get myself checked out? Just do regular checkups with your doctor. Anyway, we are gonna go and see how this goes. It will take over a week for me to get my results back. The day that the results are probably due back is my doctor's day off. So we will see how long it takes to get results. I'm not gonna, we will end this video here and then I'll get the results and we'll do another video of follow up. But today is biopsy day. Wish me luck. That it's gonna be pretty swollen through here from just from the numbing cream so put a band-aid on it bled a little bit let's get changed out of this gown but that's where it all happened all right I'm gonna sit here for a second before I go home checking to see if Abby needs anything before I go take this off and I kind of want to look oh you can see how swollen it is yeah it's swollen very nice doctor, very nice nurse. And then we had one more technician in the room that was taking all the all the vials from the doctor. They all thought it was really cool that I was a, a scan model for um, the company that I test equipment with. And um, anyway, they're very interested in that, that I do that and that that's how I found this. So let's see up close here. I'm gonna go to the side to see if I can see the swelling. I can, it's right here. So it's all swollen, like around here. And this part was kind of bleeding a little bit. Then that's the other test site as well. So they said that I'll probably get bruising on this lower site and then um, it, it'll be sore 
And then they gave me, where did I put it? An ice pack to put on it. I'm gonna go and do that at home. Finish up working on those Christmas cards and maybe even start addressing them from the couch, but still feeling like I'm productive, but trying to lay down, put that on my neck. Can't happen if I'm at a computer. I'm also trying to get um, people some vaccine appointments uh, today. I have a friend who's trying to get her daughter vaccinated tonight in one city. So she's trying to see if her and her husband can go at the same time and get their booster and that location can't do adults. So we're trying to go back and forth and find out where we can get some adult boosters. It was available in a different city and she's like, can you and Jason come and get your boosters today? If I open a vial, this is our friend that's a pharmacist. <clears throat> she's like, if I open a vial, I can do six doses, but I only have two for my friend. And I was like, I don't want to do it today. Like, I just don't want to do it. And uh, Jason can't do it, so there's no point. Anyway, that's what I'm kind of sitting here trying to do before I go home. And then I'm gonna stop at the P.O. box and see if I have any cards from you guys. The battery's flashing. So I'm gonna go home. We'll see how I feel later today and see if I have any bruising. It went well. I think I'll call my dad and tell him that it went well and do a Marco Polo with my sisters and let them know. And we get the results. See, here's the interesting thing is that the tech and the doctor said, you're gonna get your results in three to four days. <laughs> That's not what my doctor said. You guys, she's like, oh, give me a week. <laughs> I could have results by this Friday, not next Friday. Anyway, well, it, it is what it is, but we'll just kinda take it as it is and not get upset if I don't hear back this week. But I think I'm gonna call my dad. I like to call him now, so I wish I could call my mom. She just went through this, this year, before she passed away. So I wish I had had her to talk to about this, but anyway. Well, I mean, the doctor said, you know, I mean, I do this on a regular basis and he's like, I don't think this looks even questionable at all. He's like, I am surprised that they're having you do it, but I'm also okay to just check, double check, because you do have a lot of, you know, he's like, you do have a lot of nodes. I can see why they'd be like, whoa, there's a lot in there. But he did say, we'll test them. There are two that are questionable. It went well. I'm all swollen Good. from the, you know, just the numbing cream, but, and he said, I'll yeah. brew. I'll bruise up and I've got ice that I'm gonna go put on it. I could know by the end of this week, but most likely end of next week. Okay. So. Well, keep, keep me informed. I'm, I'm, yeah, I wanna, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Yeah, so it went well. I thought they were gonna biopsy all five of the nodes. Oh. But they didn't. He's like, nope, only two of them are questionable. The other ones are small. Yes, they can grow. We might be back in here in a couple years, but. Okay. You know. You guys. What? I just got my first package in the mail at our P.O. box. I decided to stop in on our way home. So I got a package. I don't know who it's from. I want to kind of get my raw reaction. And I got a card from Lori. So Lori, hello. I'm really getting stiff. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm kind of getting stiff and sore. Like it's starting to be hard to turn my neck. And it's starting to hurt to kind of talk, kind of swallow. Okay, I'm gonna open this at home but I wanna see who it's from. You guys are the only ones who know this address. Literally, no one, I hear something in there. Oh, I think it's from Tanya. Is that who it's from? It only says the last name, and if, if I remember her last name, I'm gonna check Instagram really quick, because I think, yes, it's from Tanya, right? Yes. Oh, you are so cute, so cute. I'm gonna get home, and I'm gonna, from home, but you guys are so cute. It's our first package. I'm so excited. What a day to get it. Ow, I can't. What a day to get it. That is so fun. I need to go home. <laughs> I need to get ice on this. I thought I was gonna sit down to edit and be fine and cancel the meal that a friend was gonna bring me. Nope, bring me the meal. Bring me the chicken Alfredo. I'm gonna go, ah. I'm gonna go lay on the couch. I'm, yeah, I gotta get this ice pack on it. This is where I've been for the past like hour or so. I've got ice in a bag. It's too cold to like lay the ice just fresh on. Oh, it's really tender and really swollen. It feels really good with the ice on it, but it's hard to like, I literally can't sit up or do anything. I have my packages 
over there. Tanya just texted me back and I'm gonna open them on camera and with the kids when they get home from school. I also have a card from, oh, I can't remember who it was, but I can't sit up to like open anything. <laughs> I was gonna like get a little sneak peek before the kids got home, but I can't like, this ice won't stay if I'm not laying down and, cause it's like right in the middle of my neck. <laughs> It needs to have the ice on it. So I'm just laying here watching videos on my phone. It hurts to kind of swallow. It's like when you have a sore throat and you swallow, it hurt, that last little bit hurts to swallow, except it hurts in my neck. It's very strange. And I know it's just like the muscles are, are tender and, that, and, and swollen, obviously. It just is very strange because I feel fine everywhere else. It's just a very odd feeling. <sighs> kind of sucks to like only have one teeny tiny part of you that's not feeling well and you're like oh like you know I, the rest of me works I want to get up and I want to like I have so much to do on the computer I could even like work on my laptop but I literally can't sit up so anyway someone just texted me I gotta get my phone so I'm kind of stuck here on the couch I'm glad I have a meal coming in I'm more stuck and immobile than I thought I was going to be. And so I am glad that I agreed to have someone bring us a meal. I think this is a message from Tanya. Tanya, I'll read your message, not out loud, but I'll read it while I'm on camera. Uh, she had something funny about with the package. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Anyway, she's the one who sent me the package that I can't open quite yet. We'll do that as soon as the kids get home. And Abby has an activity tonight. Abby and Kaylee both have an activity at church tonight. And I have never been more grateful for Kaylee's driver's license because I was like, can, Kaylee, can you take yourselves to the activity at the church? <laughs> It's working out great to have her with a driver's license now. Jason unfortunately has to work all the time now. And he just texted me a little while ago and asked and asked if I wanted ice cream to be brought home. Yes, yes, I will take the ice cream. So I'm gonna rest here for a little bit and we'll be back when the girls can open this package. All right, so Abby is going to open our package and Chelsea and Ashley are coming in in just a second. Look at that, I haven't changed. <laughs> I sat up when Chelsea got me some lunch and it feels fine to sit up. It doesn't hurt, except I know it's still swollen, so I laid back down. Chelsea and Ashley are home from school. It's just that Chelsea's already gone back out to play, so Ashley went and got her and she'll be coming back home when we can open this present from Tanya. Thank you again. The girls are very excited to see it. Okay. Oh, that's a cute card. Oh, oh. Snacks. Are you recording, Ashley? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Snacks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 There's a weird. Huh? Okay. She has a little Chocolate explanation bar. of what some of these are. Chocolate bar. There's okay. a big bag of Kit Kat. Oh, this has oh. Smarties in it too. There's a bunch of different Canadian candies. Oh yeah, they're different Canadian candies. Yeah. Smarties. Yeah, they're not. Smarties in Canada are not the same as Smarties yeah. here. Yeah. I do know that. Ooh, these are good. Oh. I oh, they're so good. Are these the blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that might be mom's. Oh, what's that? Swedish berries. Ooh, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. I think that's all of the stuff in here. Yeah. These are just a bunch of little things. Popcorn twists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys all say? Thank, Thank you. you. Where's Chelsea? Canada. She's over there. I'm over here. You're I'm over. Just, like, I'm gonna hang out at the park. You're gonna go out to the park you for a bit. Try Smarty? Okay. Yeah, you can sure. try some Smarty. Can I bring one thing? Yeah, try one thing. Okay. That's a cute card. Yeah, try some Smarties. Look at that. I'm gonna go. Bye. Bye, Charles. Bye. That is so nice of you, Tanya. I am going to steal the Brookstone. Is it Brookstone? Yeah. Brookside. Brookside? I love those. We can get those from here, but I never get them from Costco. Yeah. I should get them more. Oh. Because it still hurts to swallow. But my kids are loving all the extra snacks. Do you like the Smarties, Ash? Yeah, the Smarties are good. Mm -hmm. Ashley's tried those Smarties ones. Before. They're like M&M's. They're good. Um, oh, let me see what the Swedish berries are. I wonder if that's, yeah, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I grew up having these, so. All right, so I'm sitting up for a second here. 
Oh, it hurts. Um, okay, so these guys, these popcorn twists, old Dutch popcorn twists, they taste like pirate booty. Right, Ashley? I haven't tried it. They look like pirate booty. They do look like pirate booty, but they're smaller and twisted. I like. And pirate booty does taste like a puffy popcorn. I like the like when you bite into it because like the pirate booty so, yeah. is more crunchy, but this is like more like soft. Yeah, these are softer than pirate booty and smaller, so those are pretty good. Yeah, and yes, Tanya, I have to be careful about what I open and dig into because. <laughs> None of these are really approved, but so these guys look pretty good, but I'm not gonna open them quite yet Actually, some of these are made from like peanut free Factories which actually comes in handy for one of their friends who has a major peanut allergy so They don't make a whole bunch here. So this whole bag of candy here I'm gonna save because she, I can give these as a little gift for their friend, right? She got food and half the candy she got was peanut butter, yeah. so she couldn't eat any. Halloween is hard for her because she goes trick-or-treating and then can't eat 99% of, of it. So I read through your little list of what everything is, Tanya. That's very helpful. And the kids have had fun kind of digging into some of this pre-dinner. A little what? snack. Loving the card. Absolutely loving the card that is definitely going on display. So Ashley will you put that all back in the box for me? And then I'm gonna lay back down. I'm hoping our dinner is here within the next hour or So my friend is bringing me something for everyone to eat uh, Kaylee's here, but she's just upstairs with her boyfriend watching TV relaxing after school You can all you can still see it swollen. Abby's like, oh, it looks like you have a third neck <laughs> Thanks. It does look like I have a third neck all right, so I'm up walking for the first time all day. My friend brought this cute little dinner for us tonight. Look at this pasta, you guys. Chicken Alfredo pasta and some M&M cookies. That's what Ashley's looking forward to. And a yummy, yummy salad. Chelsea's very excited about this one and about this one. This one, she's gonna have me pick out some of the veggies because <laughs> she does like the pasta. Are you gonna have some? Do you want to just try the pasta? She's closing it up tight so that I don't get it for her. So I'm kind of hoping to take a shower tonight because I'm, I'm looking very couch ridden. I'm going to dish up myself for dinner because I actually told everyone that dinner is ready and Kaylee doesn't want to eat yet because her boyfriend's here. I don't think she'll come down right now. Chelsea's just probably showering. That's very normal for Chelsea to do when she comes in from playing to go take a shower. Can you get me the ranch, Ashley, please? Jason. I what? He called me to tell me that my friend was at our back door. Our address is, it's really weird, and it takes me to our garage. So dumb. It didn't sound like he was done at work. Because he sounded really panicked and needed to get back off the phone, even though our store closed 15 minutes ago. So, I doubt, he's trying to hurry home to help me tonight. Because this little stink doesn't like to go to bed before like 11 p.m. I'm not dealing with that tonight. Back. I come into your room and tickle your back. Yeah, but you still, then this morning she was like, I'm too tired to go to school. I was up late. I was like, that's not my fault, dude. That, uh, you're I going know, to school. I, my hand I know, whatever. Jason is coming home soon. He'll enjoy this meal. Super good. Look at all those little goodies inside there. He will probably pick out the broccoli. I will probably pick out the mushrooms. We're pretty even on uh, the vegetables that we're willing to eat. I will take all the broccoli. He'll eat one just to make me feel happy. I'm gonna go and sit back down on the couch and eat. Hopefully he'll get home soon. So our cute neighbors brought me these flowers. Pretty. Right, they're so pretty. So um, like I've been doing for all year, I was able to get their, my, our, our neighbor's daughters, the Chelsea's friend, Ashley's friend, I was able to get their vaccine finally last night. They've been trying to make appointments and haven't been able to schedule them. And I suddenly said, hurry, hurry, they have two doses for you. So they went and hurried and got their vaccine last night. First and or both? Yeah, they're both, they both got their vaccine. First? Their first dose. And so um, they brought me flowers. They're, they got a gold pine cone. Yeah, just, just the silver, one. <laughs> silver gold pine cone. Not gold. Um, silver. Silver, yeah. Pretty. Very pretty. So I'll have you, we'll put them in a vase. What? What is this? I know, Jason just got home from work yeah. and he's gonna what take a look. Like that is, can, yeah. so it's like Kraft Mac and Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. But they call it Kraft Dinner. They call it KD. I like KD. Yeah, they don't call yeah, it Mac like and Cheese, that. they call it KD. 
And it looks different. How's uh, like foreign food snack stuff? Yeah. Sea salt. Ooh. Yeah, you'll like those. Yeah. They taste like Swedish fish from Ikea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's always good. That's always good. They have like a little... Oh, that's a... Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, what is this? It's a crunch. Crunch. Like, oh, I didn't see... Lunch? Let me see lunch. that one. I didn't it's see that crunch one. Lunch. Crunch lunch. Chocolate bar with peanuts. Yeah. I didn't see that one before. I was laying down. Oh, we already went through those, huh? Yeah. No, that one is, oh, I forgot. It's right here. I wanted to hide it from the kids. Because we're going to save some. Because these candies right here, Jason, are made in a peanut-free factory. Oh. And so we can share some of these with Callie for oh, Christmas. Cool. It's hard to find her peanut-free yeah. stuff. She like, she doesn't, she like, she oh. wants to buy lunch, but it's she like can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like pirate booty. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has had the same reaction. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They're in different packages. Yeah. Okay, quickly, I want to go take a shower. Call it a night. Wait. What is this? Ketchup. <laughs> we won't open them. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to open it tonight. We'll have to do a taste test. On yeah. That one. And then this one is all dressed. These ones actually would probably taste really good. Yeah. I can see these ones tasting good. These are probably what Cheetos should be. Yeah. Because they're made with real Canadian cheddar cheese. Was our oh Canadian wow, it's real cheese. Real cheese. So I bet you mm -hmm. Americans made with you know a bunch of chemicals. Oh, it's all that. chemical. Yeah. So this is probably like more of the real thing. So that's cool. Yeah. So I think some of this stuff has been nibbled on. Like I'm hiding one in here because we know we like those ones, right? Those are really good. We eat these ones on our game nights with our this friends. Is so cool. This is pretty cool. Thank you for. Yeah. Thank Tanya. Tanya. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And there's a lot of... This is cool because, like, I love all the little differences. I've driven through Canada a bunch. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I'm mainly stopping at gas, gas stations, stations yeah. Stuff. But, yeah, they got some unique little things. This is cool. Yep. It's really cool. Thank you. All right. Here are the flowers that my friend gave me. I think they're very pretty. And I'm going to sign off. I have showered and got ready for bed. Can we see the spelling? My third... Neck, my third chin, as Abby called it. It's interesting because the swelling is like shifting down. <laughs> so it's now down here when it was like up here. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Jason, you want to say goodnight? Hey, hey. <laughs> Bye, goodnight. <laughs> Signing off. Sorry. All right, say goodnight. That's all. Okay, goodnight. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> um, good night you guys thank you for your kind words a few of you have mes messaged me privately knowing that I was going through this today so thank you for your kind words and thoughts and Tanya thank you for the package and I also got a Christmas card from Lori so Lori thank you for sending that that was what was in my mailbox and then I got the package as well so thank you for the cool Christmas card I've got to figure it out but I think I might start like a little Christmas wall right here and maybe do like a little clip garland or something and hang your cards up there we'll see how many we get I have a few ideas of how to display them so if you want to send them you can anyway take care I will let you know in a future video soon the results from this biopsy so thank you talk to you later